Hey everybody, this is Scott Weinkiewicz. I recently published an article on D Digital Photography School talking about the different tripods and uh, what tripods you could use for different situations and what's better than the other and things like that. Different, different setups. And so I wanted to walk you through real quick my workhorse tripod. Now I have four tripods. I have a uh, ProMaster tripod, which I use for, for education, for teaching. I have a Manfrotto tripod that I also use for teaching. And then I have a um, three-legged thing tripod, which I use for um, sort of a like throw in the back of the car um, all the time. And in case I need it, I know where I have it there, and I can just grab it uh, in emergency if I really need it that 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 badly. Um, then I have a really right stuff tripod, and this is my workhorse. This is what I use for doing portraits. If I do any sports photography, um, if I do landscape photography, any commercial work I do. Um, panoramic photography, things like that. So I want to just quickly show you the tripod. So this is my really right stuff tripod. And right now I have uh, some of the legs open. This goes extremely tall. It goes way over my head. I'm six, uh, I'm five nine. I almost said I'm six nine. Uh, I'm five nine and this goes over my head. This goes, um, I think about seven feet. So it's pretty tall. Um, it has a center column, as you can see. Inside of the center column, uh, it's got, well, it's got the hook. I can unscrew the hook and inside of there is actually a toolkit that I can tighten and adjust everything on the tripod. Um, I like having that because I can also adjust my friend's tripods if needed. Um, I can untwist this wing nut right here and raise up that center column if I need it, lower it down and whatnot. Um, over here I actually have my uh, Aquatech pads. Now I use this for when it's very cold if I'm not wearing gloves. I can grab the the uh, the pad instead of the tripod, and it'll be uh, much warmer. It also serves as a good, you know, padding on my shoulder from walking around with my tripod as well. Um, and by the way, the tripod is carbon fiber, so it's extremely light. Um, in fact, my really right uh, my uh, three-legged thing tripod is um, much thinner and uh, much smaller, much more compact, but they're the same weight. Um, so it really shows that um, the really right stuff carbon fiber is so strong and it's actually very light. Uh, and then all the materials they use it are very professional, the, the highest possible quality, and they're also very light. So um, on the leg, I can actually adjust the leg and go in different increments. I can make it, you know, um, lower and lower to the ground if I want to. I can go almost flat. If I didn't have the center column, I can go completely flat. Um, then there's the ball head. The ball head is an Arca Swiss mount. So you can see it's Arca Swiss mount and it's a clamp style. So I can easily unclamp and reclamp my camera in there and I'll show you that in a second. Then there's um, two adjustments here. One is a panning so I can loosen it and pan. And the other is a tension. So this is a tension so that I can actually loosen the ball head and you can see that when I let go, it's not going anywhere. If I loosen the tension, it just drops. So that's really nice for different, for different situations. So if I'm doing portraits, I can have it, um, the tension very tough and let go of my camera and know that it's not going anywhere. So let me uh, set up the tripod real quick and just show you. Okay, so here's my D800. I'm gonna put it on there. And now the camera's there. You can see that um, the ball head is loose but it's not going anywhere. The tension's very tight. I can even, I can tighten the ball head, uh, loosen the ball head all the way and it'll, you know, just drop. So that's that, um, very easy. Now, that's my typical situation for the most part. However, there are times where I need um, leveling pr uh, precision. For example, if I want to do uh, a long exposure and I want to be perfectly level, I could use uh, a bubble level on top of this. I could use the, uh, uh, the level inside of the camera, the digital level as well. But if I'm doing a panoramic, then the precision has to be 100%. There cannot be any fault uh, because you start getting distortion in your panoramic photographs. You start seeing um, parallax as well. So there's two accessories that I have that help me get rid of that. The first accessory, is this, it's called a leveling plate. A lot of manufacturers make these. Um, this is also from Really Right Stuff. You can see that it looks like 
the top of the tripod as is. But what it does, it has a bubble level as well. I can mount this in place of my camera. And now I can level the leveling plate uh, separate from you know the rest of the tripod. So if my tripod is on an angle, let's say my tripod's like this, I can still have my leveling plate level. And then the leveling plate has its own, where's that knob, has its own panning. So the leveling plate will actually pan for my panoramas instead of the whole ball head panning. Because right now, if I was on a level and the whole ball head was panning, my, my panorama would be completely distorted. See that? See how the, the ball head is actually changing positions completely? Instead of just a simple shift, which is much more smooth and you'll get no distortion. So the leveling plate is step one for my panoramas. Really from here, I could, if I wanted to, I could mount my camera right in the leveling plate but then I'm doing the same thing. I could do a panorama like this and I can get a perfectly level panorama, which would be fantastic. I'm already getting rid of distortion. However, in panoramic photography, there's something called a nodal point. The nodal point is the part of your lens where you're um, not going to get parallax distortion. You're not going to get that overlay of, of objects being um, ghosted. You're not going to get this crazy distortion that comes with stitching multiple frames together that are not perfect. So this is called a nodal slide. And again, many manufacturers make these, but this is actually from really right stuff as well. And what this is, is it's got these numbers. So you do a little bit of testing and I'm talking, I talk about nodal points and parallax in the panoramic photography ebook that I'm in the process of writing. Um, but uh, basically, you do some tests and you determine your, your nodal points for different lenses um, and your camera as well. You have to make sure that it's all um, precise. Then you mount it on your, uh, you know, per, um, in the right spot according to your numbers that you came up with. You mount it. Then you have this part. And this is where your camera mounts to. Okay. And the beautiful part of, of it is normally your tripod will be mounted. I mean, your camera will be mounted on your tripod like this. But what happens with a nodal slide is your tripod, your camera is mounted on the nodal slide, causing the lens to be centered over this. So if your nodal point is back here, let's say it is, now your lens is what is shifting in the center of the tripod, or is the lens is what's panning in the center of the tripod or rotating instead of the camera being centered. So that is getting rid of the um, parallax distortion that comes with the wrong nodal point. And um, so the reason why I went with the really right stuff one instead of a uh, less expensive one is for two reasons. One, um, I can actually shift this forward and back, which means I can use it on multiple lenses without having to have multiple nodal slides. I thought that was a beautiful uh, feature to have. So I can shift this up and down the other great feature is I can also rotate this one piece so that I can use a collared lens like my 7200. So the 7200 Nikon lens and Canon lens and Sony lens, most of them are so big that your, your lens gets mounted onto your tripod instead of your camera. So you can then rotate this and mount your lens on the nodal slide instead of your camera on the nodal slide. So um, these are the two things that I use. Again, I, the nodal slide and then the leveling plate. And combining those will actually get rid of parallax distortion that you'll have when doing panoramas. Um, so this is my basic tripod setup that I use for most things. Again, it's a really right stuff tripod. Um, if you have any questions, please ask them. I'm happy to answer whatever I can. And thanks for watching.